Hey y'all, happy Friday. It's your girl back in here with another video. <laughs> okay y'all, so today I ordered some, I ordered from Panera Bread. Um, welcome back to my channel y'all. Uh, I had a very, oh, hold on one second, okay. So I ordered a um, kitchen sink cookie. <laughs> and then um, I also got a Caesar salad in here. And oh, um, kind of weird, but I also got some, it's white chili white chili or something like that and then they put a piece of bread in here I am I don't know if I'm gonna eat this I don't I'm not gonna eat that okay y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and say my grace thank you Lord for this food please have your nourishment to my body please bless your hands up prepare to God um please cover us with your protection thank you for your grace and your mercy Lord uh cover the world Lord <laughs> cover everybody in the world in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you for my food. <laughs> I don't have no... Oh, my goodness. They did not give me a spoon. Okay, that's weird. That is so weird. I don't have no spoons over here. Um, Are you serious right now? <laughs> I don't have no utensils at all to eat my food with. I wish I would do that before I started this video. Anyway, um, so I went to Seattle with my mom last night. And um, we're, we, we did some, we did an event last night. Um, it was raining like super hard, y'all, and we were on the highway. Or should I say the freeway? We were on the freeway, on the highway, freeway, highway, same thing. And it's raining, like pouring rain. And it took us about almost an hour to get there. Um, we were we were in Seattle for, okay, so we got there at six something, I think it was. Something like that. Um... Okay, so we parked. Okay, no, no, no. Let me let me go back. No, actually, I'm not even gonna tell you guys about how the trip, the whole like time we were in the car, because that was a hot mess. <laughs> we got in a parking garage, and then we had to walk. Um, we had to walk for about ten minutes, ten to fifteen minutes, from the parking garage to where this event was, and I was struggling. I'm talking about struggling big time. So I wasn't expecting to do all that walking. But um, by the time I got home, I could not even get out the car. And I was struggling to get out of the car. So it was all bad. That's all I'm going to say. It was all bad. What is this? Oh. Okay. Um, I'm just going to pour that on here too. So, I don't um, I don't know if I told you guys, but I am allergic to yeast. <laughs> yes, I am allergic to yeast, and <clears throat> I am pretty sure that's where all my weight gain comes from. That's why I'm overweight. Um, I love. I'm not gonna say necessarily bread, but I like cookies, of course. Um, um, cupcakes, cake, um, muffins, stuff like that. So now what I have to do is cut it all down to a big moderation. Um, Y'all know I'm gonna eat this cookie. That's just all there is to it. I'm not gonna eat, I'm not gonna eat this bread. I'm not gonna do that. 
<sighs> so anything with yeast in it, it's like, I'm not going to say it's a no for me, but I'm going to say that um, I'm going to limit myself to a yeast product like two days out of the week only because um, <clears throat> bread alone, I don't know if it's actually mainly wheat or white or whatever kind of other bread that there is, but that's going to be a no-go for me. Oh, okay, y'all. I will be right back. <laughs> I need a spoon. <sighs> well, actually, I need a spoon and a fork. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm back. Okay. I got a spoon and a fork anyway so um last night when I got home I looked at my watch and it said 5,500 steps and I was actually shocked at myself but I was um, going up and down stairs on top of that and very very uh I was just not, and then, okay, so um, a rat went, well, we were gonna go up this, um, up these set of stairs and a rat went across the stairs at the top. And I was like, my mom turned, she's like, uh-uh. <laughs> I saw it too. And I was like, uh, I don't think so. So actually, no, we saw a rat twice. So yeah, twice. That's sad. Oh man, um, what else happened? So, um, there's a highway that's in Seattle. It's called Highway 99. Um, as you get into the, I wanna say the industrial part, but it's close to the Space Needle. There's a under underground bridge. We went through that bridge one, two, three, four times. <laughs> Woo! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> so I'm trying to bet I'm trying my best to do things in moderation um, when it comes to my eating and I'm slowly understanding what people say when they are talking about um, having control when it comes to your appetite and the things that you eat because um, you don't know what's going to put weight on you, but at the same time, it's like it's best for you to have blood work done because then you know what you're actually allergic to. So I'm allergic to yeast. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. That's crazy. Mm hmm. But. I don't want to. I don't want to sit here and say I'm gonna cut out everything because my mom, my mom is an LPN and she's like, no, you need to, um, you need to have. It's okay for you to have things in moderation. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't have no sweets yesterday, and I had vegetable broth yesterday before I left. Before I left the house. Mm. No, I didn't have no sweets yesterday. I'm actually shocked at myself. Because normally I would have been like, Mom, can you, uh, let's go get something sweet. <laughs> and she'll agree with me. She won't say no. But at the same time, y'all, I'm... 
yeah so another thing i want to talk to you guys about um just like conversation whatever <laughs> um being a mom is the most it's a it's a challenging role in life the reason why i say that is because i have three grown children y'all and all of them are over the age of 20. my oldest daughter has a family and she is a mom she's a um and a wife she's their picture is behind me um I'm trying to learn that I have to let my kids be grown. Um, it is not an easy thing for me to do, y'all. I've, <laughs> I've been bawling like a baby lately. <laughs> because um, my son, the youngest, he's my baby. Um... He hasn't lived with me in, in a long time. Um, there are so many things I did wrong when it came to them. But the one thing I did um, was always I made sure my kids were safe. I made sure that they were kept around people that were beneficial for them. And I just, I say that about myself too, because for me, that's the important. And... Um, my kids were raised with their fathers outside of the home. So my job was to make sure that they were, um, they had a lot of people around them. My mom, my sister, a lot of people in church, people I grew up with who had kids or people, no people who I went to high school who had kids, my sister and her kids. I always wanted to make sure that they were always in a positive environment. Um, all three of my kids graduated from high school. Um, my two youngest kids don't have kids. My oldest daughter does. I love being a grandma. I love y'all. I love being a grandma. Like she, that's she's so cute and she's so she's so intelligent. It's just it's awesome how intelligent she is. So, um, <clears throat> I am thankful to be a grandma and I get to look at my grandbaby and see my daughter in her. Yes, I'm very thankful for that. So, um, when I got, when I was, when I got pregnant with my first daughter, um, honestly, like, I was like, oh my goodness, I get to be a mom. Here comes my second daughter. Oh, my, my mom life is extended. Here comes my son. Oh, I'm a single parent raising three kids by myself. It was, I know I, I, I. I know there were so many people who, who was praying for me all because there was times when um, there was, I was stronger, okay? Yeah, I was stronger. <laughs> so I know I have people in my, in my corner. Um, That's what made things easier for me, you know? I still have a good support system, which is great. But, um, as your kids grow up and they get older and they have to come, you want them to come into a good life. Like, my kids have, they're good. They're good. I'm not going to sit here and brag, but what mom don't want to brag about their kids? <laughs> yeah. Woo. So... I'm I'm thankful that I um I'm seeing my kids in this 
in the way of them being as old as they are. And I'm thankful my kids are still, they're doing good. They are, all three of them have jobs. Um, my oldest daughter went to college. The younger two, they're not so much. I don't, well, I'm pretty sure my second daughter might go to college, but who knows? Seriously, who knows? <clears throat> mm. Y'all don't get me wrong, I like salad, but I actually like Cobb salad better than the um, um, Caesar salad. It has a lot more stuff in it. <laughs> mm. So, when I get done eating all this, well, not all of this, but I'm gonna, when I get done eating this salad, you know, all this food, I'm gonna um, do some leg exercising because um, my hip is so bad that I can lift my leg, but it hurts when I lift my leg. So I need to do some leg exercises. I'm gonna go lay on my bed, lay flat on my bed. And, oh, I know I need to get a, um, um, it's elastic band. I have to remember where I put that thing at. So I'm going to do that. Mm. <laughs> I want to buy... <clears throat> I want to buy the stuff to make a cop salad. So I can fill it up myself. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Honestly, I should got a, I should I could have got a sandwich from Panera Bread, but I think the chili was better. Has a lot of stuff in it. Um, there's red beans in here. I think these are garba are garbanzo beans in here too. And I know there's some kind of meat in here. Mm. Mm, So, I'm going to rest myself. I'm going to be resting for a couple of days. And then, um, uh, depending upon the weather, I want to um, go. We have a park that's about two blocks away from here. And... I want to go to this park and go walk around this park. Um, Cause my daughter was like, mom, if you did for over 5,000 steps yesterday, she said, you're gonna have to start pushing yourself more. Um, you can achieve that more regularly because you did it last night. So I'm going to do it again. Um, the reason why I said next week is because I don't want to do it um, when it's raining outside. Um, I'm going to have shoes on with um, um, traction on them, but I don't trust. I don't trust the um, rolls when they're slippery and stuff. So, ooh. I am 
done with that salad. You can taste the vinegar in it. This morning, I did not want to get out of bed. Um, but I got up so I could make me some coffee. And yeah, so I went to this, um, I went to this bus terminal um trying to get some stuff together for I had an assessment to do I'm just gonna tell y'all the real deal with me <laughs> um because it's important um I went and had an assessment done because there's times when I use a shuttle to get to my doctor's appointments um I met this Hispanic lady So, <laughs> I'm going to start texting her um, to see if she can start cooking for me because um, cooking for me, I don't cook meals for myself. I just like do um, like little stuff, but I need full meals and I know... Um, she can cook full meals so i'm gonna start talking to her about that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so people tell me people be telling me you need to get out more you need to do more stuff I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, y'all. I don't like being in this house. But it's a little complicated for me. Um, I was able to get on the bus. But um, the bus, the bus um, stop is going to, uh, it's going north of my apartment. So it took me about, um, it took me about seven minutes to actually walk to that bus stop from my front door. And when I tell y'all I got there, I was in so much pain. I could not, like, I was trying my best to, so what I should have did was, um, Took the side, took the crosswalk, which I actually forgot about because there's like going this way, there's a crosswalk that's going across the street. I forgot about that crosswalk, but excuse me, it would have took me longer to walk up the street. Um, excuse me, it would took me longer to get up the street, and then on top of that, I thought the bus was coming at a certain time. I sat at that bus stop, y'all, for over an hour. And plus it was a Saturday too, but still. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So with this assessment, um, the lady who, who was, um, Watching me do my do everything she wanted me to do, um, I was telling her that okay, so you guys know how how buses are. Um, um, they have stairs or they have uh, flat entrance, or you can just walk uh, onto the bus, or they have um, the one with the stairs has. Um, they, they can form the stairs into a ramp. Okay. So, or actually it's, it comes out of underneath the stairs and then it goes upward. So you don't have to go up the stairs anyway. So 
I was telling a lady walking up slopes are hard for me because of my right leg. So, um, she's like, yeah, you need to do physical therapy. I have to go to another city that's like a, uh, 45 minutes away to do physical therapy. But she was like, "You, it's better for you to go swimming because then that way um, you're getting more, it's for you, it'll be more movement as far as your arms and your hips and your legs, you know. I was like, yeah, I agree because <sighs> walking is very difficult because I'm like basically no cartilage in my knees, bone on bone, y'all. That's what kills it for me. And that's why I don't really do much moving around. Or go take the bus. I'm in a car when I leave here. So, so I'm done eating my food. And I'm gonna, um, go um get this exercise and done is stretching because i need to stretch like all like into my right leg no my right hip up here closer to my back oh that's the part that hurts so all right y'all i will talk to y'all later and I hope you guys have a good weekend. Oops, hope, hope y'all have a good weekend. <laughs> Happy Labor Day. No, I'm sorry. No, Veterans Day. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, y'all. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you to all the ones who have um, served this country, put on that suit. And um, my daughter's father was in the military. Um, my... I have two of the two of my uncles in the military. Um, there's a lot of people that I went to church with. Some people I have come in contact with that are oh, military status, army, something like that. My uh, sister was in. I think my sister did the reserves for a for a little while. anyway i'm trying to figure out i'm just gonna get rid of this it is sad i'm not keeping that i don't know why they brought that here but all right y'all y'all have a good weekend i'll talk to you later bye